What's going on guys? Your boy King Joffy Joe 413 back with another one. How you guys doing? Chilling? You already know me. Chilling like always. Um, so today what we doing? Um, so today what I'm doing is, as you can see, I got a Riker behind me, clamshell in pieces and shambles. So this bike right here was purchased from Philadelphia. It's going on. It's the owner. New owner is um, Riker Rentals of Boston. So this is going to be one of the Riker Rentals of Boston's bike. Um, this bike is not what it was what they thought it was when they purchased it when they purchased the bike it was told that it was a decent bike um it's actually not a decent bike at all um it's like it's just freaking crazy right there i just noticed the handlebars are really off uh i wonder why that is the whole alignment's probably messed up uh, yeah um but yeah so this bike is really really messed up um so we're going to do a little walk around. I'm going to tell you what's going on with it. I already got into it because I was so anxious to get into it. I just got into it without taking any video. All right, guys. So um, the bike was told the bike was a decent bike. The bike's actually in pretty bad, pretty bad shape. You know what I'm saying? Where, did, where you think the bike came from, you would have thought it came in a better shape than it is. Um, but so I had to just break it down off the jump. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I had it here for a couple of days and I've been ordering parts, waiting for the parts to come. So I'm just going to take you guys a walk around and show you what some of the stuff I took off the bike and some of the stuff that needed to replace on the bike. So first of all, it had a full LED light kit. You know what I'm saying? Had a full LED light kit, which I took the whole LED light kit off. Um, some of these things, the owner, uh, Riker, Riker, Riker Rentals of Boston, they're going to be selling some of the stuff um, that came off the bike to pay for, to help pay for the rebuild. You know what I'm saying? Might as well get some of the money back that they did. Uh, so the plastics on the bike were pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Most of the plastics were pretty good. They weren't they weren't banged up. So if you looked at the bike, you thought you were creating a pretty good bike. You know what I'm saying? So all the plastics, a couple holes inside the uh, glove box there. But, you know, you put a system on there, um, that you, you got to put holes in the glove box. Uh, it had speakers on it. Speaker pods, we're going to be reusing these speaker pods here. We're probably going to be reusing these. Oh, let me set you guys up to make it a little easier, a little more professional. All right? All right, we're right here. All right, so speaker pods, we're going to be reusing those, so those aren't going to be for sale, but we do have some other stuff that's for sale. Speakers, I don't know if these speakers are good. Um, actually, we'll probably sell these if you want to purchase them. Just let me know. Don't even let me know. We're going to put the um, person you're going to have to contact from Riker Rentals of Boston about any of this stuff that you're seeing in the video that you want to purchase, and he'll give you a price. You know what I'm saying? Um, speakers, we'll sell you the speakers, though. I'm not even going to, actually, we won't sell you the speakers, so we don't know if they work. So we're not going to sell you the speakers because you don't know, we don't know if they work. But look at, look at some of this. All right, so this just explains how the speakers were hooked up. They were twisted on the air like that, and they had electrical tape around them. So you already can see the kind of wiring that was done here. You know what I'm saying? As you look in this speaker pod here, oh, that's the other wire. You can see it all taped up. Um, 413 Rocker Garage, we do not do that kind of stuff. Why? You hit a bump, comes disconnected, you're back here complaining. You can tell me, you know what I'm saying? We're getting bad reviews. We don't do that. Halo lights, these are for sale, but um actually, if you want to buy, I want we're not these are uh I don't think we're gonna sell these. These are just garbage. Look at them. This one right here. Uh, actually, this one right here. The whole inside shakes on this one. So if you want to buy it, you hit up boss, he'll give you a price. Um, it is what it is. You get what you get. You know what I'm saying? The wires are what your wires are, what's connected to it. That's what you get because all the other wires went in the trash because they were garbage. So I wouldn't recommend anyone buying these, but if you want them bad, you can buy them. Um, the bike did have heated grips, but they were garbage. They're trash. Uh, hand grips. It had hand guards, but as you can see, the two of the ends are white. It's missing screws. Most of the screws are missing. So we're missing one screw here. We're missing a whole side here. And so hand guards. Um, 
We can get new pieces for these from Can-Am and just replace those in the screws. So we're going to keep those. Uh, uh, more plastics that were good. More good plastics. Um, we're going to be going no fender, gang. So if you need tail lights, we got a good set of tail lights here. If you need a set of tail lights, I don't see no cracks in them or nothing like that. But I do have multiple sets of tail lights. So if you need tail lights, hit me up. Uh, little amp. We got a little amp here. A little amp here. If you need a little amp with a little Bluetooth connected to it, um, iron line. If you need a little amp, uh, how many watts? No clue. But we'll definitely send you this. All this is going to be as is. Um, you pay it and you pay for shipping. So. Uh, the siren that was garbage it works still but we'll probably if you want to buy the siren we'll sell you the siren because by d boss i mean boss wants one so but we're gonna get him a new one we're not gonna freak fram with the artist flip flam you know what i'm saying um highway peg we got one highway peg there was one highway peg on the bike so if you want a highway peg we got one peg if you want one if you're missing one um so yeah any of that, guys, you want to buy? We took all this off the bike. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is just what we took off the bike. And some of the shabby wiring. A whole trash can full of lights and wires already got removed. Also, for sale, we're definitely going to be keeping this. Uh, we're probably going to be keeping this tail light. This um, tail light here, we'll probably be keeping this because we're going no fender gang. So we can use the tail light. But we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be getting rid of these uh, foot pegs. So we're going to be replacing these foot pegs with different foot pegs, stock foot pegs that swing up. So if you want to buy the foot pegs, they are for sale. You can reach out to uh, Boss for those. Um, also for sale, back seat. Comfort back seat for sale. reason we're selling the back seat is because to get the new foot pegs, you got to buy the seat. So... We're going to buy a new seat to get the foot pegs. Got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Right? All right. So, that stuff we took off the bike. No, I'm not selling my skid plate, so don't ask. Um, um, all right. So, now, that stuff we took off the bike. So, after we got the bike taken, all that stuff off, it was time to get... Oh, so, first of all, <laughs> hand grip was... The other side of the heated hand grip was super glued on in to the throttle, so we couldn't get that off. So I ended up having to go and eat. I had to go. I just went on eBay and bought the little plastic piece, so we didn't have to buy the whole uh, connector. Because on um, from Can Am, we didn't have to buy the whole throttle assembly. From Can Am, you can't just buy this. You have to buy the whole thing. It comes at one piece, like uh, two hundred fifty dollars. So we went on eBay. We just found the throttle. The uh, in inner part of the throttle, and that fits right on there, and bam, that fits right on there. I think I paid uh, like eight bucks on eBay for this, uh, but so from two fifty we saved to like eight bucks. The throttle is actually good. It was just that part because it was super glued on there. Um, come over here. Simple things. Simple things that we noticed at first. You know what I'm saying? At first, that right there, that was bad. Look at someone spliced into there for some reason. Weird. Uh, ground wires. Drilled into the frame. Look how close this is into there. So I don't know if this is bent because that hit that at one point in time or not. But uh, the bushing here, that bushing here, that steering bushing, that's bad. That bushing's bad. So we're going to be replacing that bushing. Um, let's not skip the elephant in the room. Let's not skip the elephant in the room. You guys see the holes. There's a few holes, you know what I'm saying? This bike wasn't made in Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? But there are a bunch of holes for speakers that were there. So two, three of these holes we're probably going to be using. I forgot which three, but I have a bracket that goes on the back side, so we're going to figure that out. The rest of them, you guys let me know in the comments. Should I plastic weld these? We're going to be putting a wrap on the bike, so should I plastic weld them and then wrap it? Or should I just put, like, JB Weld in there and weld it? I mean, then wrap it. Um, or you have any other suggestions, let me know down in the comments. Um, so, now, after we got to the, in the initial just... All right, handlebars aren't straight. That's one thing, but it's clamshell, so we're going to give it that right now, but they're not straight. Um, so the initial <coughs> thing is you start clamshelling, right? You sh First of all, the handlebars 
Oh yeah, we got one of those for sale too. Um, handlebar lift, where is it? Let's see, for sale. Uh, we got the gauge spoiler, like lifter, and there's um, somewhere around here, there's a handlebar lifter that's also for sale. I'll find it in a minute, but other than that, so either way, when you start cleaning up shell it, you start moving screws. So first of all, the screws that were in here were not the proper screws, they were big bolts like bolts, they weren't even torque bolts. Um, here, we had one screw on each side in the back. And then when you jump to the front, we got to the front here. There were no screws in the front of this bike here. And there were also no screws in the front of this bike here. No screws and no nuts. So when I clamshelled it, I had to use two of my um, punches to stick in the hole to clamshell it, right? So boom, blown. Mine was blown when I seen that, right? After... I noticed that, I noticed the belt. The belt was missing chunks and stuff like that. So I was like, what's that? Boom, kind of crazy um, that it was missing chunks. And I noticed that this bike was being ridden without none of the protection that goes in the inside of here, uh, the shroud that goes in here. So if this belt explodes, that was missing as well, including the heat shield that goes on the, oh shoot, I'm gonna bust my ass. The heat shield that goes on the bottom of this right down here, the, there's a heat shield that goes down there to keep the exhaust away from the belt so the belt doesn't start getting messed up. That's what that heat shield's there for. Um, that was also missing. Um, later on in the day, I realized, I started looking up here, that the whole bolt and washer that go here were missing. So yeah, there's supposed to be a bolt and a washer that goes here. Um, I cut the belt off, but all the threads inside here are ruined, so you can't screw the tool in here to close the, uh, to open the, uh, clutch to take the belt off so you have to cut it to get it off but either way this slides right off so the whole time this was being ridden this was sliding back and forth but I knew there was something wrong because before I took it off I noticed the shield here had a big hole in it so obviously this hole got here probably by something shooting out the inside of it if you look how it's broken it looks like it's broken from the inside out um, so something probably shot through there and it probably look at right here Look at right there, all that bottom, something shot through there. Fang, fang, right through there. Fang, the nut or the washer, fang, hit that, bang, bang. Dude, ride right it, you know what I'm saying? Lucky that your legs be over here, and that shit, and that came out down here somewhere, you know what I'm saying, down there somewhere. So that shot out, boom, you know what I'm saying? And before I even noticed that, there, I noticed all the chunking, the chunkage in here. You see this right here? A lot of chunkage missing in here. So there's a lot of chunkage missing in there, so we're gonna have to replace that as well. Um, this whole thing's gonna be fun. Um, already purchased that one, got another one up there, gonna replace that, but you know, specialty tools are needed for these kind of things. So we're gonna have to be getting some specialty tools for this stuff. Um, also, I noticed if you look down here, you probably can't see, cause I don't got a light. Let me see if I got a light. Uh, where's my phone? All right, <laughs> just give me the light. All right, if you look right down here, Turn this camera. If you look right down here, see all that oily looking stuff right there? Um, all that is because the seal on this axle is bad. It was a bad axle seal. So that axle seal has to be replaced. Why the axle is all chewed up like that, I have no clue, but uh, it is what it is. We're probably just gonna paint that and go on and ride on with that. Uh, yeah, but if you have that, if you look down in your Riker, you're dripping like that, your seal needs to be changed. So um, you're gonna wanna change that. And I'll be doing a video on that really soon. We'll be doing a video on how to change that bushing. We're gonna be doing a lot of bushing. A lot of videos on a lot of this stuff I'm gonna be doing, but it's gonna be a dragged out process. We're not gonna be doing it in like one or two videos, and we're not gonna be doing it in like one or two days. It's gonna be like, this is a, like a next spring bike. Like this bike we're trying to get, we're, we're looking for a, a ETA uh, for this bike to be done around next spring because so much has to be, work has to be done, you know what I'm saying? You buy a bike, you don't think that whatever you pay for it, you know what I'm saying? It's a 2020 Riker Rally. Um, you pay for a bike and uh, you don't think you're going to have to put five grand into it, you know what I'm saying? This bike's going to get around five grand, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I'm definitely looking around like five grand into this. Plus, not just with the fixing it, but with the upgrades he wants as well, you know what I'm saying? Um, basic maintenance stuff, just getting it back to running status. We're probably looking about 15 to two grand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look at this filter. See this filter here? 
It's just little stuff. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff like that filter there. Um, we got to replace this, obviously. We gotta, we're going to replace this whole clutch because that's all bad. So a new clutch. Um, we're going to replace that clutch. We might as well. We're going to put a new belt on it. We gotta put. Uh, we're gonna put a new clutch. We're gonna be putting new bearings. In, I mean, uh, rollers in it. So we might as well put high torque rollers in it. Uh, there's no bolt here, so you gotta replace the bolt. You gotta replace the screw. This bolt and wash. I mean, w bolt and the washer. This bolt down here and washer can be reused, but in this one, you always gotta replace it anyways when you take it off. Replace it. Um, oh, shoot. So you're looking at right there. Count the money. You know what I'm saying? You go on there. You know what I'm saying? If you calculate, just so. The, uh, this uh, clutch here, just the inside part, this part right here, which is called the fix shiv, that part is connected to this part here with that strip. So all that is the fix shiv. That part is $300, right? So, you know what I'm saying? You do the math. You know what I'm saying? You got to buy that for $300. The bolt that goes in here is $18. Um... The washer, I don't even know because you have to go to the dealer and get the washer for some weird reason. I can buy the bolt, but I can't buy the washer for some weird reason. Weird reason. Uh, 80, 60 something dollars for the new rollers that we're going to replace it with. Oh, also, once I take this off, there's supposed to be a washer right here. Right here, right on there, right to the edge of there, there's supposed to be a washer there. There was no washer there. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, that washer was gone, so we're going to have to replace one of those. All right? And then, like this right here, there's pieces. When you take this apart, there's pieces that you have to replace when you put it back together. Um, you can't use the same one. So some of those got to replace uh, all the screws. We got to get all the screws and nuts. You know what I'm saying? That's money right here. Thinking about doing the whole size, but we're probably not. Placing this, the wires and stuff like that. Getting here and our straights. Getting the bushings in there. All this. You know what I'm saying? You picture it. You know what I'm saying? Parts and labor. And then after we get all that. So that's just parts and labor just for the... Uh, getting it back to running order just to make it drive again like it should. Now, you think about wanting your upgrades now. You know, this is Riker, Riker, Riker Rentals of Boston. You know what I'm saying? That's Big Boss. Big Boss is going hard, family. You know what I'm saying? Big pause, pause. Because that was a little, you know what I'm saying? I said going hard, pause. But we're going to be doing the powder coat and other rims. You know what I'm saying? We're going with the rat. You know what I'm saying? We got to, oh, headlights. You've seen the headlights going to trash, so we know... We got to put different headlights in there. So we're going to headlights. We got to get uh, LED, I mean, L um, LED lights. You know what I'm saying? He wants a light kit on it. You know what I'm saying? Got to put a light kit on it. We got to put, right, he wants music on it. So we got holes for speakers. Might as well put speakers on it. So we got to get new speakers because we got the pods, new speakers. We got to get amps. We got to get controllers. We got to get Bluetooth connectors. You know what I'm saying? Um, we need a grill. We need a, we need a top-notch Riker Mod grill. Riker Rentals of Boston on the front of it. Why not? Why not? Need it. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, you, you add it up. You add it up. You add it up. Add it up. New exhaust. You know what I'm saying? We got a new exhaust. We got to get a new exhaust for this because this shit is stupid loud. It's stupid loud. Whoa. Whoa. Let's not forget. Tire. Tire. We need a tire. You know what I'm saying? Um, more. So look at this right here. Look at this right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to do something about all this. Even though we're going to wrap it, but what was going on here? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. I just don't even get what's going on there. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, um, Guys, this video's getting kind of long. I don't usually do them this long. This is probably one cut or two cuts in this because I had to move some stuff around real quick. Um, other than that, straight drawing out, long video, a bunch of information. Um, once I get some more pieces in, some more parts in, some more tools in, I'll be doing another video of this. But before then, we'll be doing a install on the rollers on d rolling 413's bike. Um, so stay tuned. I'll check you guys. Peace.